So with the Sunshine Double over for another year, it's time to go through the predictions for both Indian Wells and Miami. We'll go through Indian Wells first. Considering I did so bad at the Australian Open, it only can be up from here, so let's have a look. And yes, I do have a pimple on my face. I reckon Goff's going to do better than Rabakina this year. So what a start. Rabakina didn't even play, so I got that one without even having to watch any matches. I mean, Goff just played one match. Rabakina pulled out. Easy win. Now, this is a tricky one, but I'm going to go with Vilch on the men's side. He played really well on the quality. And on the women's side, I'm going to go with Pera. So my Vilch pick was great. He actually took out one of the seeds, Hashinov, in the second round. He did lose in the third round of Marijan, and then Pera only made it to the second round, but no qualifiers got out of the second round. So she was the equal best, because everybody lost as well. Now there's about two or three countries I could have picked, but there's a lot of withdrawals coming out of the Czech Republic, so I'm going to go with the USA to have the best tournament. So you can't go wrong when you pick the home country. I mean, Indian Wells, it's in California, it's in America, a lot of wild cards. And they did do the best out of any other country. They got around 30 wins, with Russia being the second best at around 20 wins. Now, aces are hard to come by at Indian Wells. It is a slow hardcore, but I'm going to go with Rabakina for the women. And I'm going to go with her catch on the men's side. So, of course, Rabakina pulled out, so she hit no aces, which was very unfortunate. A uh, her catch, though, he did play and lost. So both didn't hit that many aces. All right, the big one, Djokovic Sinner. Who's going to do better? I'm going to go with Djokovic in this one. Okay, so uh, this might be the last time I ever doubt Sinner ever again because Djokovic, of course, lost to a lucky loser. Uh, Nardi in, like, the third round. Sinner, of course, made it to the semifinals. Djokovic just completely fell apart and, of course, had that massive upset. And there are a lot of dangerous unseated players in the men and women's draw for this one, but I'm going to go with Pliskova. She's played so well over the last couple of weeks. And I'm going to go with Mensik. So a little bit of a Czech flavor. I'm going to go with him on the men's side. All right, so not very good with these two. They didn't do as well as I had hoped they would do. Mensik did lose to Shelton in the second round, so a little bit of a tough draw for him. And Pliskova lost to Blinkover in the first round, who then went on to take out Pagula. So, um, again, tough draw. Maybe I should have picked two different players, but I had some faith in them because they've been so good over the last couple of months. <music> Top 10 upsets. I'm going to go with Ange Burr, her knee problems. I'm a little bit worried about those. And I'm going to go with Rublev. I don't know why. So... I got them both right. They both lost in the third round and the second round. Jabir lost in her first match to Volley Nets, and the knee did prove to be a problem. And Rublev ended up losing to Lehechka in the third round. So two massive upsets, and there was actually a lot of upsets, but they were two of them. Dark Horse picks. I'm going to go with Dasher. I don't care what anyone says. I'm going to pick Dasher this time. And I'm going to go with Umber, which is probably the obvious pick on the men's side. So Dasha made it to the fourth round. Big run there. She outlasted players in her section, like Zhang. Azarenka was in there as well. So made it to the fourth round. Lovely run there. But Umber, super disappointing. Lost in the third round. He did lose to Tommy Paul, who ended up making it to the semifinals. All right, the one-two. We've got Sviantek. We've got Sabalenka. I'm going to go Sabalenka in this one. Man. Yeah, like, what was I thinking? I mean, Sabalenka did lose. I mean, she almost lost in the second round. But she did lose eventually in the fourth round. Ended up going to a very good informed Navarro. Of course, Sviantec won the whole thing. So, I mean, just terrible pick all round. I'm so sorry to all the Sviantec fans. My hot take for this one, it might be more of a lukewarm take. I don't reckon we're getting that many upsets. I think that the top players are going to do well here. So this was a, a weird one because... I mean, we did have upsets. You know, Djokovic lost, of course. We had Rublev losing early. Jabir on the women's side. Sabalenka didn't make it uh, as far as I thought. But we did have a lot of big names in the finals. Like, we had the two versus number four in the final for the men's. Uh, we had three of the top four in the semifinals for the men. On the women's side, it was a little bit different. We only had half the top ten playing in the quarterfinals. And then, again, in the semis, we did have three of the four players in the top ten. So, but there wasn't as many top players as I thought making it through. All right, so one of the toughest parts of these predictions is the semifinals. But on the women's side, I reckon we're going to get Sviantec versus Kalinskaya. And down at the bottom, I'm going to pick Goff versus Sabalenka. Mm. On the men's side, I'm going to go with Djokovic versus Medvedev. And at the bottom half of the draw, I'm going to go with Sinner taking on Demonor. Mm. 
Okay, so Ash Fiontech. That was good. Kalen's guy didn't make it as far as I'd hoped. She ended up losing to Paolini. And Sabalenka, of course, had lost to Navarro, who then lost to Zachary. So I was two out of four. I'm pretty happy with that. Again, just like the ladies, you know, two out of the four. Djokovic obviously had that shock loss. Dimino, unfortunately, lost to Zverev. And, you know, Zverev kind of took his spot. And then, of course, lost to Alcaraz. So, you know, two out of four. I'll take that as well. And the winners for this tournament. Again, boring picks. I'm going to go with Sabalenka on the women's side. Made the final here last year. And I'm going to go with Djokovic on the men's side. All right. So Djokovic losing third round. Sabalenka losing before the quarterfinals. Both terrible picks. Because Fiontech won. And so did Alcaraz. I should have just picked them because they've won it before. Why wouldn't I just pick the easy ones where they both win? I mean, of course, the defending champion on the men's side. And then the player who won two years ago. You know, it, it was a no-brainer in hindsight. But... You know, who would have thought that Jock was going to lose a lucky loser? So I actually did better than the Australian Open in this one. I, was, I had a hot start, though. I mean, I was on fire to start these predictions. Then they all just fell apart. I mean, look at the other predictions. I got less than that. <laughs> in fact, the Australian Open, I could have almost just, you know, yeah, deleted the video and nobody would have ever noticed. Let me know down in the comments below if you did any better than I did. And if you do comment that you did better, uh, you are a liar.